Uh, what's up guys today i'm going to teach you guys how to find quality expired domain uh, by using expired domain dot net okay so i'm i'm going to create new account i have already account with uh, expired domain dot net but i'm going to create new accounts with them so to show you good example how to find good quality expired domain so in this case i'm going to type expired domain dot net okay i don't know expired domain dot net okay expired domain dot net okay uh, i have accounts with them i'm going to log out and create new one i've already logged out i'm going to sign in uh in this case because of tutorial i'm going to use the uh, temporary gmail you can also use your original gmail but because of the tutorial i'm going to use tempra gmail i have accounts with them so i'm going to use tempra gmail okay i will use this gmail to sign up okay okay So, okay, so I'm going to verify this um, image here is just for you to verify that you, you are a human being, you are not a robot. So I'm going to click and accept their terms and condition and then click sign up. Okay, it's just a simple step. Uh, I'm going to check my Gmail if they have already sent a code for me. Uh, they are going to send the code. They are going to send it. They said, your registration was successful. Check your Gmail. So I'm going to wait for them to send me a verification a link to activate my account. Okay. Let's check. Still waiting for them. Okay. Okay, they have sent the notific uh, the the message to verify. So all I have to do is to click the link and activate my account. Now your account was uh, successfully what activated. So I'm going to click um, sign in, which is login and uh, click login now i'm going to use them um, i'm going to set it to advanced setting which is i'm going to set it very well i'm going to click this um, column words column manager uh, column manager is a place you can be able to set your majesty um, i'm going to click uh, column manager Okay, we need to scroll down. Click uh, Majestic General, then click uh, CF, which is the catch flow, and the TF, which is the trust flow, and uh, save changes. That's all. Then here you are going to click delete domain. Okay, just click delete domain. Just click delete domain um, once you click delete domain they are going to show you the list of the domain for today but you are going to apply what filter which is I'm going to click show filter then here I'm going to scroll down click only available domain choose how many page I want then you choose the language of the domain you want to search for which is expired domain in expired domain.net these are the quality ways to find quality expired domain okay uh, again i don't want the domain to have number like for example stanley.5.com something like that to have number um 
additional i'm going to click additional setting which i like dot com extension the additional is under extension i'm, I'm going to take three extension which is dot com dot net and dot org these are the two ext three extension i love and again i'm going to choose the trust flow remember the trust flow and the catch flow should be within 10 the range of 10 10 10 then you leave here blank a good uh, catch flow and trust flow should start within 10 upward to my own text okay at least within 10 or 8 but me i prefer 10 so i'm going to apply filter then i'm going to pick uh, the domain um one after the other i'm going to search for this one I'm going to copy this. Um, let me also check if it's available on Namecheap uh, because I'm going to check if it's available for Namecheap because I buy all my domain from Namecheap. So let me check if it's available from Namecheap. Uh, without wasting your time again, I'm going to check. I'm going to check the domain authority for this, which is Moz. I'm using Moz to check the authority and check the spam score and other stuff like that okay I'm going to click um, link search then I will click here and analyze so okay the domain is a uh, 19DA is manageable you can use it and start a new blog and you can also redirect it to your main blog let me check the link profile uh, the linking profile is a good domain uh, you can use it um, to start blog or you use it for redirection is okay it's manageable for beginner guide remember this tutorial is for beginner guide people will find it difficult to find uh, expired domain um, okay the domain is for animal said pro animals dot uh, org and again is available on name cheap to buy and also I'm going to show you guys how to check the way back how the domain how the company use the domain or how the people use the expired domain uh, the way back machine is going to show me the screenshot of the previous um, activities about the domain especially the history then I'm going to click the way back uh, once I click the way back machine I'm going to paste the domain name here then click center to check the history and also here you can find out um, the year they registered the expired domain uh, so I'm um, okay fine the expired domain was registered within the range of um, let me say January 2008 let's check let's count the year one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve let me say two fifteen two twenty was blank but the domain is just six years which is very nice okay uh is the age is uh, the age matters and matters a lot the age matters i'm going to click to open the activities in january to see the way back what they use the domain to do in january and i can also click um 2017 to check what they use the domain to do in 2017 to know what it looks like because this way back machine captured the history a screenshot um okay the activities uh, okay because of network um, issue okay remember this domain is for animal uh, you can also uh, go down um, make a choice pick them one after the other to analyze them to check if it's um, good to buy because most important thing you need to consider in domain is the trust flow um, consider the spam score this one spam score is very bad consider the age consider the spam score check if the spam score is very okay um, the minimum you should buy as a spam score at least one or two but let the domain authority be high and also you should consider this trust flow which is within 
this trust flow is okay 32 to 15 uh, 19 to 12 you should consider the trust flow and the cash flow to before you buy the expired domain okay this is how the domain look like in 2000 and, uh, 2017 this is how the domain looks like you understand is a company domain uh, they talk about animal they trade dogs they do a lot of things this is just the way back machine showing me the previous uh, activities about the domain and it's not an english word uh, um, blog like that um okay i'm going to show you guys um, another one uh, the important things you need to understand about this expired domain if you are buying expired domain you need to consider the redirection how many redirection the expired domain have and also you take note of the distance the trust flow and the cash flow is very important and also before you buy make sure you check the history the way back and the domain authority with most i recommend most for checking the spam score and the domain authority and also you should check the way back to find how this your uh, uh, this um, domain how they use it from the beginning and the, how they dump the domain and also you can also copy the domain which is um this domain i'm going to copy it and check if some of the page is indexed okay i'm going to check if some of the page is indexed okay okay um, let me check okay it's like some of the page is indexed which is the domain is very quality okay and again, if you buy good expired domain that have good DA and is not uh, some of the page is not on Google, I would advise you should not buy or you install a blog on the domain and run WordPress for or maybe run a blog on the domain for a while, like one month, add the sites in searching engine, leave it for one month at least, put two to three posts, allow Google to crawl that site back with the content, and then before you start your directing. That time you can make a decision if to use it and start a blog or to use it and redirect or to use it and do pbm thank you guys for watching do have a wonderful day i uh, will drop the link below uh, that you use to register to find expired domain i also drop a link to my previous uh, um, um video and also drop a link description below uh, about uh, some of um, the important uh, tools you need to buy if you are looking for um, ch uh, uh, a cheap site to buy um, moles, you can also uh, contact me if you want to buy moles. I sell moles for one month login. And also, um, if you're finding it difficult to rank your site, I'm going to drop my site URL that is going to put you through. And please subscribe to this channel so you'll be receiving a lot of update about ACO and the uh, ACO tech and everything on page optimization and off page optimization. Thank you guys for watching. Do have a wonderful day.